This is in the village of Ali, just outside the Bahraini capital, Manama. Police have dragged a protester to the ground. They kick, punch and beat him with their batons. Others fire tear gas and concussion grenades into the surrounding streets. Al Jazeera cannot independently verify the footage. According to activists, more than six months after the crackdown began on Bahrain's Shia-led pro-democracy movement, the demonstrations and police brutality continues. Bahrain's Sunni monarch has promised compensation to families whose members have been killed or abused in jail. And last week, a group of doctors who had been detained for six months and had gone on hunger strike were released on bail. But they still face trial in a military court. The celebration following their release ended violently amid clouds of tear gas. Activists say small protests like these break out every day across Bahrain. The latest mass demonstration was organised by the thousands of people who say they lost their jobs because they supported the pro-democracy movement. The international media have been all but banned in Bahrain, but video like this is posted on YouTube almost daily. Al Jazeera in March witnessed police like these smashing thousands of vehicles belonging to protesters, and the destruction of protesters' property continues. The main opposition group walked out of so-called national dialogue and reconciliation talks in July, saying the majority of the groups participating were pro-government. The protesters say their demands for greater political participation and economic rights are still being ignored. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.